So, I haven't made TDI content until now, but you could argue that my stuff is based off of it, but recently I've gotten back into it, and my opinions have changed, so welcome to my Total Drama character tier list. If you don't know what Total Drama is, I'm not explaining it to you, that's your fault. <laughs> In this mini-series, I'll be sharing my opinion on all 104 total drama characters from all 5 original seasons, The Redonkulous Race, and the 2023 reboot. And yes, 5 original seasons. For some stupid reason, All Stars and Pakatel Island count as one season, and I cannot explain how much I hate that. Like bro, they have entirely different casts, different locations, and I think we all agree that an All Star season should be a standalone. I guess they both suck. I'm gonna say this in every part of the series so it's absolutely clear, but this is my opinion, and it's completely okay if you disagree, but please don't be disrespectful if I disagree with you. Like, maybe you can tell me you disagree, or you can dislike. Don't do that. Jokes aside, please feel free to share your opinions in the comments if YouTube doesn't disable them. With that said, let's jump into our first tier. Welcome to the Dave tier! It only has one character, and in my opinion, the worst character in the whole franchise. I'll give you a few seconds to guess who it is. I'd be willing to bet that Dave is no one's favorite character. Why? That happens when I'm nervous. I know. So, was that Belch a yes or a no? It was an I like you too burp, but- Don't want to hear the but. Let's just see where things go, okay? I's acting weird and I'm no dummy. I get it. It's because I haven't kissed her yet. I just want our first kiss to be perfect, you know? Yeah, I don't need to explain myself here. Dave ranks 104th out of 104 characters for being a creep. Let's move to the less bad characters and the next tier. Number 103, Stacy. Stacy was the first boot on season 4, and for good reason. She's a freaking liar! It's pretty straightforward as to why I don't like her, and that's because I don't really find her funny. The one Stacy moment I found funny was... My great aunt Millie invented suntans? Yeah, before her, people smeared themselves with clay. <laughs> Next up is Tammy, and she literally only exists so Leonard could have a partner for the Redonkulous race. Not much to say about her, she has almost no lines and does literally nothing. And if you're wondering, Leonard is in a completely different tier, and we'll get to him eventually. 101, Sadie. Sadie somehow almost made the merge in Total Drama Island, which is honestly baffling. Both Katie and Sadie are filler characters, but Sadie's literally in the background with little to no lines for the most part. Like, they gave her a whole emotional moment where she says goodbye to her bestie when she leaves, but they don't do anything after that. Like, what was the point of her making it farther? than Cody and Beth. Like, maybe Katie and Sadie could have been eliminated in a double elimination or something, or at least had Katie and Sadie leave back to back, or maybe do something with her character after Katie gets eliminated. I don't know, just an idea. Well, so I don't really understand why the Bass voted off Katie and not Sadie. I mean, in the dodgeball challenge, Katie was shown to have more skills, like being able to aim with the ball and running away from Cody's electric dodgeball for a decent amount of time. And to be completely honest, Katie just sticks out more as a character in most of the episodes they're in together. All in all, I just wish they did more with her. I think I'd prefer if Sadie was eliminated before Katie, and Katie had a plot to avenge Sadie with all the skills we know she has. I don't know, just an idea. Miss potential there. Number 100, Rodney. Okay. Pause. Okay, this is TVG from the future, and you can tell because the audio quality is terrible, but I think I've been a little too harsh on Rodney recently. I mean, he's a good guy, but... I don't know, his plot is just so stupid, but... I don't know, he didn't really deserve to be in this tier. Maybe, like... The first one in the next tier, yeah. Okay, most of the Pakato Island cast is gonna be pretty low. I just find Rodney's plot of liking a bunch of girls, breaking up with them, and getting voted off to be pretty annoying and pointless. To be fair, I think his design is all right, and okay, well, okay, his voice is perfect. <laughs> but I just don't like him. Nothing much to say. Alright, we're out of the characters I hate, but there are still some that I dislike a little bit, and let's kick it off with the tennis rivals. I think these guys are just, well, idiots, and they're kind of buttholes. While I like the overall concept of their team, I can't put them anywhere past here, especially considering how they're just filler characters. Scarlet. I don't like you. Scarlet was... 
the main antagonist of Pakatel Island. She had this whole evil alliance with Max, and it was later revealed that I am evil! <laughs> this is stupid. I'm sorry. Scarlet being Max's pawn for almost the whole season, only to get five minutes to shine and be evil for absolutely no reason is so stupid. I, I already did this one, I already explained it, yeah. Okay, so the Genius's team from the Redonculus race is another filler team, but you'll notice I rank Mary below Elodie for a couple reasons. Like Katie and Sadie, Mary sticks out less as a character for me than Elodie does, and the only other reason being that I hate this design. Like, look at it. Sky is one of three characters I'm classifying as an average girl who's good at challenges. Sky is easily the worst of the three, as her plot with Dave has her break up with her already boyfriend and act like it's completely okay. The worst part is that she gets absolutely no consequences for that. I know there are a good amount of Sky fans out there, and I've literally heard people say, Oh, well, Sky is the best Pakato Island character. What? Have you watched Pakato Island? Actually, you've earned my respect if you haven't. To be fair, she does have some redeeming qualities like her conflict with Sugar and her okay design, but that's really it, so... Like I said, Elodie sticks out more than Mary, and her good design puts her above Sky. And also, I think I like her more just because she sounds like Courtney, who we'll get to in this episode. Don't worry. Okay, I'm gonna try to speed through this tier. So the vegans are probably the most hated redonculus race team, and I kind of get why, but like, only to an extent. I've seen some real hatred towards these two. They definitely seem to obsess over being vegan more than any real life vegan I know. My mom's vegan. I'm a vegetarian. Yeah, TBG Battle 5 didn't lie. I can't really explain it, but I feel like the writers are constantly trying to shove it in your face that they're vegan. Like, I ain't never seen someone eat dust. I rank them this low because I don't like how being vegan is like their whole personality, and I think most other people are gonna agree with me on that one. There are other environmentalist yeah environmentalist in the total drama universe that clearly care about the environment but are much more likable and have character traits aside from that i can respect that the vegans care about the environment but i wish they weren't so flat okay now i'm gonna try to speed through this tier zeke is the first one on here to play in more than one season i think he's really funny and i love how he was the first boot twice and i hope we get to see more oh from one first boot to another, we have our first reboot character. Not much to say about Caleb aside from how I think he's such a funny first boot. Like how Bowie voted him off for being too physically intimidating at the very start without giving him a chance. I just think that's so funny. Emma! What? I actually think Leonard's pretty funny at times, except that's also partially why he's ranked so low. He just doesn't work in a realistic, realistic show like Total Drama. But I think it's okay on Pakato Island because like no one is good on that season anyway, so it's all right. Okay, I might get some hate from this one, but I don't really like Beth that much. She definitely didn't deserve her alternate win in action. She's also so irrelevant for most of the season, which makes her eventual development and victory feel super forced. She was supposed to be the nice girl, but action kind of went off that track, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I don't think it was the right way to go. And also, I don't like her design but that's yeah <sighs> all right cue the sad music i honestly feel kind of bad for beardo or it's pronounced beardo but yeah whatever this was the guy on pakato island who made sound effects because of his shyness and he joined the game to find people who could actually like him only to be the first one voted off his team chose leonard to stay over him that's that's just insulting okay stop the sad music for now I think the writers did an alright job at making us hate Amy, which is why she's higher up than a lot of the Pakato cast. I just don't really like her as a character too much. This is going to be the last tier of this part of the series. The people in this tier I have mixed feelings on, as you'd be able to tell. Who are you again? Definitely got some mixed feelings on Max. Like Leonard, he's pretty funny, but he's just not someone who belongs in a show like Total Drama. Though I love his interactions with Scarlet. Those are top tier. who has funny moments for sure but he's kind of a horrible person i think the fact that he's a parody of logan paul is pretty funny but it was shown in the poll challenge that he's not a good guy she's either obnoxious or weirdly funny i don't see many of you disagreeing axel is someone who i'd hate to be around in real life for me she's just a meaner sean now putting that aside i like her concept but we don't really see her do much aside from make her teammates eat squirrel and kick ripper in the face and i don't see her having many positive interactions with any other contestants in the next season but i don't know i could be wrong Okay, this might be my first hot take, but I'm not a fan of Courtney. I'd like to start by saying I thought Courtney was a decent character in TDI. I still think she is for the most part in that season. I love her small, nice character moments, like when she comforts Sadie in the first episode, acting like a leader most of the time, and when she helps Duncan get over his fear of 
that. Now, I wish I could leave it at that and say the world needs more people like Courtney, but no. Her relationship with Duncan was very interesting at first, but it quickly fell apart in action as she became a more toxic and abusive person. Even though I'm not a big Duncan fan, I can't help but feel bad for the guy. Like, nobody writes a 32-page essay on things their partner should follow nobody now i know there are people who put it aside and say it's just a cartoon which i understand but i still think the relationship was toxic and that courtney is generally annoying now i really wanted to like michelle and i think i will once the second season of the reboot comes out but for now i'll put her here i definitely see potential for her though Topher is one of the more grounded characters on Pakatel Island, with his goal being pretty straightforward. He played an antagonistic role in trying to replace the host, Chris McLean. I think it's pretty interesting, but I found that it got pretty annoying very quickly. While I like his gimmick for the most part, his lack of any real character interactions with the other contestants puts him pretty low. I can only recall one time he had any real character interaction with someone, and that's when he and Jasmine spent a challenge together underground. Can I just say I love the joke with his name? Chris Topher Christopher. I just think that's pretty clever. Now, the mom and daughter team is another ridiculous race team that I find to be pretty basic. We've all seen that spoiled daughter and that mom who just gives her whatever she wants, at least once in public, right? That's literally this team. Taylor's annoying, but I think the writers do a decent job of making us hate her. I like the part when Kelly absolutely fries Taylor in the Hawaii episode and finally tells her how stupid she is. That was pretty nice. Not much else to say. Eva competed in Total Drama Island, ended up being the second boot, rejoined at the merge, and got voted off 10 minutes later oh now i realize where i got that from she had anger issues in early tdi but became more chill in the aftermath episodes yeah she's all right finishing off the tier and part one of the series we have mk or mary kate or mario Kart. mk is the definition of mixed feelings for me because i like her strategy of downloading confessional footage to see what others have been hiding but she doesn't really do anything with it we see characters like bowie and julia spread drama to get farther in the game which is actually how mk ended up being eliminated but mk only really uses the footage to bully others in the game that's it. I do love the parts in Capture the Skull when she hacks the obstacles and controls them. That was pretty cool. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and hearing me rant about characters I hate. In the next part, we'll go over two ginormous tears. That'll be very fun. Okay, bye.